what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In case you haven't noticed yet, anything that racist, uncivilized, much love, I hate. Anything that racist, uncivilized, much hate, I love. Typically. That is why I am bringing you this story of interracial love. Black man plucked a white princess from the bosom of Redneck society. Yeah, man. Went down. Casey Musgraves is one of the most popular country western artists out. She's multi-platinum. She's a Grammy winning artist. She is dating a black doctor named Gerald Anyoa, Gerald Anyoa, hopefully I'm saying the name right. When information leaked that they were dating, the country community lost it. Oh man, they got beside themselves. They started flooding social media, mainly Twitter but all types of racial epithets and just, just language that is unbecoming of a Christian. The reason I say Christian, because you know that, that, that South, especially like Nashville, all of that stuff, you know, where she had, you know, you get the biggest country music lovers, you know, uh, they typically uh, claim to be Christian. I hear a lot of stuff. People say, well, you know, you should walk the way God would walk. You know, like live your life as Jesus would. Now you know that's a hustle. If you didn't know, you should have been known. But if you didn't know, you should know by now. It's a hustle. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in Jesus. They believe in white supremacy. And that's it. A lot of white men are upset. That's who are really upset, right? They're upset that she's dating this black guy. They still haven't expressed their displeasure of their great, 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 great grandpappies sleeping with black women by force. Go down their lineage, all the white men, even a lot of them today. Oh, they don't mind laying up with a black woman. But they hate her son. They hate our children. Yeah. Got them figured out. They ain't got no problem laying up in that bed and getting up, walking out that door and practicing white supremacy. So, they hide at the brother and they hide at his new woman. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, listen, I don't have a dog in the fight. I don't care if they're together or not. It doesn't even matter to me. But because the racists hate it so much, I love it. I want them to stay together. I would like to see them stay together forever. Rub it in. Especially because her husband, who she just separated with, like I think in July, was Caucasian. 
She left the Caucasian man for the black man. Ooh, man. Isn't that what these wars and this discrimination and this uh, racial profiling and shooting black folks, ain't that really what it's all about? That jealousy. Really kind of boiled down to that jealousy, huh? Yeah. Running around here kissing dude and stuff in public. You're probably having sex and stuff. You know? You probably have sex all the time. Talking loud enough so the whites, the racist ones, you know, those uh, white supremacist types, white supremacy types. Oh, by the way, there's nothing supreme about you. Uh, it's just a figure of speech, really, because I don't look at you like you're supreme. I look at like you're beneath me, you know. I'm talking about the, the racist. You know, I ain't talking about all white folks. I'm talking about the ones who think that they're superior. You know, I look at you like you're inferior because you're mentally unstable. There's something wrong with you up in here. So you can never get on my level. You are beneath me. You can never make me feel less than. I am above you. You're not even qualified to breathe the same air as me. That's how low you are to me. I know you. I understand you. I know that you're jealous. I know that you're insecure. I know that you're weak. This is why you bully. And the only time you bully is when you have a clear-cut advantage. Size, numbers, or weaponry. That's it. Straight up cowards. I know you very well. Yeah. I want to see more of Casey and Gerald. They need to do a reality show so they can put it in their faces every single day. I want to see it. They should have babies. The babies should be mixed and they should speak with Ebonics, even though I'm sure Gerald doesn't speak with Ebonics, but the baby should come out like that. They need to be as ethnic as possible. Yeah. They need to do commercials together. They need to go out and do a, a NAACP commercial. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> that'll get them. That'll hurt them. That'll hurt them real bad. It just amazes me, fam, how people are always trying to control who somebody else decides that they're going to date. I just absolutely love the fact that one of their brightest stars, country star, Nashville, Tennessee. Country. In your face. Lily White. Got a black man. Yeah. <laughs> the trip part about it is that a lot of the ones who are mad they never had a chance at it anyway, because you know they're crud, uh, unrefined. Uh, you know, a lot of them ain't got no teeth in their mouth. Uneducated, they would have never had a shot at it anyway. She chose the black man because the black man is intelligent. The black man is regal. The black man is confident. The black man is. Cool and stylish. Yeah. <laughs> Fam, y'all don't understand. Some of them watching me right now going like, they mad. <laughs> Suck it up, buttercup. What's good for the goose is good for the gat. No more talk. What the haters talking about?